So, have you ever played a game and thought, wait a second, this feels off? Maybe it's the characters, the dialogue, or the way the game seems more interested in lecturing you rather than letting you have fun? If that sounds familiar, chances are you stumbled upon a woke-ass video game. But, how do you spot one before you waste your time and money? Let me break it down for you. So before we get into it, you may be asking, why does it matter? Are woke games really that bad? And the answer is yes! Yes they are! Woke ass games care more for pushing a message or pushing a narrative down their throat rather than making fun gameplay. That's why most of them end up being utter garbage no one wants to play. The creativity and the soul is lost from these games. Everything is sanitized and lame now thanks to this shit. So I want to teach you how to spot it so you never waste your time. Let's get on to number one. Me and my You're ugly. You are disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Now this one is the easiest one to spot out because it's right in your face. Forced diversity and ugly ass characters. In 2024, we've seen a lot of that. Just look at Dustborn and Concord. One of the main reasons why these games failed is because no one wants to play as unappealing looking ass characters. That joint is not uplifting, it feels gross to play as them or even look at. And now we have to talk about forced diversity. And honestly, this shit is so boring. It's like Bruh. every TV show and game does this now. We're talking about race swaps, gender swaps, pronouns, gay inclusion. I'm telling you, this stuff is not authentic. They're just doing it to check a box. And because of that, the quality of products have gone down because they're too involved in the message. But people are starting to wake up now because this shit is ass. And it doesn't make the products better in any way. Sorry, excuse us. How old is she? Um, they are 15 months old. We actually use they them pronouns for gray until they oh. tell us who they are. That's why you were like, who, what? Oh, oh wow. Okay, so, Bruh. they, they. Uh -huh. We are pulling apart this idea of sex, which is related to genitals and gender. <laughs> Okay, yes, if your game has pronouns in it, it is considered a woke ass game because it's pushing modern day nonsense onto the masses. Like I'm telling you, this stuff was not a thing a few years ago. Your pronouns are already picked when you chose a male or female character. But nowadays the world is so upside down, some people think they could be anything now. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. <laughs> And these same exact people are making our games or believe in that fairy tale nonsense. But those days are coming to an end. People are outright avoiding the new game of Val just because of the pronoun joint. Then on top of that, the whole country of America woke up and outright said they're tired of the joint as well. Pronouns are woke as hell. Morgan, can you switch? Uh... Nightshade's pronouns are they them. Fucking pronouns! He or she just doesn't fit who I am. Not today. Ah, sick! Another thing to look out for nowadays are super safe, sanitized games. Because first off, they're mostly ass. Dragon Age and Saints Row lost their identities because they sanitized their worlds. All their compelling world building just disappeared because they didn't want to offend anyone. It's like they're treating us like children because they believe that we'll get so distraught over an edgy joke like they do. What is the difference between a grenade and a woman? Nothing. Once you pull off the ring, she takes half the house. <laughs> And this shit ruins games because it makes them feel hollow and artificial. I mean, god damn, it even ruins comedy because this shit is not funny in the slightest. Sanitized video games should be made for children. Not my $70 mature rated dark fantasy and gangster games. Why are you gay? Now this one you have to go out your way for, but when you check a company's social media page, you can decipher if their game's going to be woke or not, because you'll start seeing patterns. For example, look at Avowed's Twitter. This game is being made by a bunch of ugly progressive goblins. The same thing is happening at Ubisoft. Bruh. That's why their company is burning down to the ground right now. Then on top of that, their official Twitter account is blocking people who have criticism or questions about the game. This shit is a woke nightmare. But hey, it tells you all you need to know about the company, all by looking at its social media platforms. You stupid. 
But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Woke shit is dying, at least in the States. And if you want to know why, check out my latest video right here. Other than that, it's been your favorite ghoul signing off. Now I'll catch you skellies in the next one. You should subscribe now.